Tyler, another three points. How does that feel? Yeah, amazing. Um, coming off such a high last week, it was always going to be hard to maybe replicate that exact performance again. But it was a different side of us, dug in, a 1-0 win, which we haven't achieved this season at home. So, um, yeah, massive for the team, really. Yeah, as you say there, it was something we spoke with the gaffer about. There was a bit of pressure, wasn't there, well, after such a good result last weekend to, to come and play Kidderminster, a side that, you know, are at the lower end of the table and then people expecting us to win. So are you proud of your teammates and everything for not letting that get to your head and, and you know, going out and getting the three points? 100%. We put ourselves in a good position where we are expected to win certain games, but they were no pushover today. Their second half, they battled really well. Probably they'd probably say they deserve something from the game. But... All in all, you know, games like that where we dig in and get those 1-0 wins, that's where we'll climb the table there. Sometimes more impressive performances, like I say, especially after last week, such a high and, you know, the fans stick with us. I think they could see, you know, it doesn't really matter how you get the three points in the end of it. Obviously, we would have preferred to have played better in the second half, but digging in as a side that we haven't maybe done so well. So, you know, we're going in going, you know, we have got that in us as well. So it's impressive, really. And a clean sheet at home, that's something that has, you know, it's, it's been few and far between for us clean sheets this season. So that must feel really good for, for everyone. Yeah, especially for the back three and Geordie, especially, you know, he's made a lot. We saw, saw the other day he made one of the most amount of saves in the league. So it was time we gave him a clean sheet. You know, it goes on his record that. So, no, proud of the whole team, really. We did dig in and hopefully we can keep getting a few more clean sheets now. And we're well, kind of turning the EBB into a fortress, aren't we? It's something that the home form has, the club has struggled with in the last few years and something you'd have seen last year as well. So that must feel really good to, to, at the end of the game, especially to go and experience that with the fans. Definitely. It was something the gaffer, when he came in, wanted to do and it's happening now. Teams will come here and think, cool, it's going to be a, hopefully a long afternoon. And they gave it a good go today, but luckily we came out on top and our form speaks for itself. We're, we're in a really good position at the minute. Credit to us. We are, we're digging in, we're getting results. Um, and we are playing good football at times, just today maybe wasn't the best showing of that. Uh, your position, central midfield, is obviously one that's been chopped and changed a bit over the season. So how's it feel to get a bit of a run in and, and, and start performing well? Yeah, I had, a, I had a good run leading up to a little injury. And then, you know, when you're winning games, it's sometimes hard to get back in the team. And, you know, I just had to do what I did when I come off the bench for the three, four games I did and work my way back into the team. That's not because anyone's maybe played badly. You know, you've got to earn your way back into this team. It, that's the way it is. And I'm sure the gaffer and the players you know, it's, it's good, you know, if you come, come out of the team and people can fill your place and you've got to work damn hard to get back in, that's a sign of a really, really strong side and we've got 16, 18 players desperate to get on the pitch and that's, it's important, it's good, like, that's not a bad place to be as a football club and I think um, everyone's coming, you know, people that maybe think they should be starting are coming off the bench making a difference and that's, that's key. Something as well that's been impressive is, is despite that, uh, it, people fighting for each other's places. There's, there's such a good vibe around the team, isn't there? 100%. Just for example, me and Tommy, we're fighting for, we've been yeah. fighting for that spot recently. We have such a good relationship. He's a really good guy. And I think we have a good relationship between each other, like a sportsmanship relationship. We yeah. both want each other to do well because we want the team to do well. But obviously, we both want to be playing. And he did excellent in the time he was, he was in. I think I've come in and done really well. It's, it's a battle that... I know I've got to play well each week, else he's going to come back into the team. And not just me and him, that's just a pro an example. There's places all over the pitch where people are like, oh, if I don't play well, he could easily come in and, and take my place. So that's, that's, the top teams have that, you know, the, the, and we've definitely got that.